So, there she is. The famous Kate Walker. Sorry, what? Donna Rose. Mírala. La hemos encontrado, mira tú. Bueno, ella nos ha encontrado a nosotros. I knew her very well, you know. Our Donna, darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Ah, no, no es ella. Oh, Blake. Yo creía que era Donna. Blake <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> but here's our tram. Would you be so kind? Oh, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? You mentioned the guest house. Are you staying there too? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mists. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. Why did you change your name? I didn't. I just took it back. You see, I was born and raised in London. My parents were diplomats from Austria. Janet Blake was always my real name. And how did you become a British military officer? It doesn't sound like the usual career path for a famous artist. <laughs> Very true indeed, Miss Walker. But I actually have been both during my lifetime. The British Secret Service hired me as soon as they heard I was going to work close to the brown shadow in Ostertal. Uh, back in the 30s, that was, just before I met Dana at the refuge. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker. But what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive for the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltayar. What a mess that was. I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. 
which I assume saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, and you'll pardon my French. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look, I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. encima del agua I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, oh, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at Section 08. I'll come meet you there. Vamos a ir, no, no vamos a insistir si está okay. cansada. And don't forget, Miss Section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Señal de advertencia. Los grandes cisnes de Wagen no solo son el símbolo inmortal de nuestra ciudad, también son seres vivos y frágiles. Así que por favor, no deis de comer a los cisnes. Una alimentación incorrecta y descontrolada puede causar enfermedades y ser fatal para ellos. ¿Esto para qué es? ¿Para llamar al tranvía? No. Sí. Pues nada, vamos a seguir el camino como nos dicen. Sigue el camino. How the heck do I get myself into these situations? These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something.
There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and dead. <laughs> Eso no, no lo <laughs> it is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? As you wish, Kate Walker. Eso no nos ayuda de nada. Un cementerio, ¿no? This gives me the creeps. Looks like. Oh, jeez. Un cementerio. Kate Walker. This place, it's it's a cemetery, Oscar. I think Dana's I have to find section 08 before I leave. I I need to know. Ah, uh, yo quería leer, es que se me ha olvidado leer la parte superior. Oh. Section 08 is over there. I don't have time to get lost in that maze. Vale, ¿cómo sé dónde estoy yo? Ah, se puede usar algo. Is there anything that requires my assistance? I'm gonna need you to be my eyes, Oscar. Will do. Just call me whenever you need directions. Ah, él se queda aquí y me va diciendo izquierda o derecha. Creo, ¿no? So, the bag. Again. I know, Oscar. I know. Obviously, vale. you do Voy a dejarlo otra vez. A cemetery. Oh, my God. Figure out where to go. Reporting for duty once again. Es que no sé dónde empieza. Empieza por aquí. Este es el principio. Ah, sí. Oscar está aquí. Debería ir justo al norte. Bueno, al norte. No sé cómo es. Si es el norte, pero por este camino. Pero claro, ¿cuál es ese camino? Section D. I need help here. Hmm. Let's see. Me habré metido por aquí. Claro, pero me ha... Ah, claro. No puedo ir directo. Debería ser por aquí, creo. Impossible to get through. I'll have to find a way to go around it. Esta es la B. Section. I need your eyes, Oscar. All right, then. O sea que son estos dos caminos. Pues da igual. Si uso la B... La B o la D. Vamos a probar por aquí. No, no. Ay, ah, el juego este a veces. No, no me va a dejar ir por ahí. Section F. F. Can you tell me where I am? O sea, estoy por aquí, entre la E y la F. Oscar. 
Oscar. What would she do without me? Estoy en estas escaleras que sería la N. No sé si me dejará ir por aquí. Vamos a probar. Vale, ilegible. Ahí está. Anna Rose, 1938. Gone to a better place. Murió en el 38, murió joven. Pff, murió hace muchos años, ¿eh? Anna's health had deteriorated at the sanatorium. Her coughing fits, the pregnancy, and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications, and when she woke up, her parents told her the terrible news. They had already buried the baby girl. No sé si creerme eso. Se parecen demasiado Kate y Dana para que no sean parientes. Algo me dice que los padres mintieron y la niña no murió. And afterwards? Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth, so she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. How come the brown shadow didn't go after Dana? They controlled Ostertal back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually, believe me. So what happened afterwards? Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then make out my report to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them. Dana stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. La Dana que murió no era su hija, no ella. She had no love. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. She 
She went from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance fighter groups pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. Vale, las dos divisiones de tanque en Bélgica, estas tienen que ser estas dos, no pueden ser otras. Ah, no, esos no. Tienen que ser estas dos. Vale, vamos a probar esa ahí. Dirección a Dover, pero Dover, aquí en Dover solo hay una. En dirección a Dover, ¿desde dónde? Aquí solo puedo colocar una. La que está cerca de Caen, que no sé si se refiere a este punto o a este. Submarino, hay algunos que son claros. El submarino del Mar del Norte está activo. Es un submarino del Mar del Norte. Dos de los tres submarinos que estaban apostados en el mar Céltico partieron hacia Cherbourg. Vale, aquí había tres y dos fueron hacia Cherbourg. O sea, podemos colocar ahí. El otro aquí. Y un submarino abandonó Cherbourg, que supongo que será... Uno de estos dos. Para reunirse con el que está apostado cerca de Brest. O sea, en Brest tengo que poner uno. Y otro submarino y quitar uno de aquí. No sé cuál, porque no te dicen cuál de los dos. Dice uno. Voy a quitar este. Dos baterías de misiles tierra en dirección a Dover. Ahí está, ahí me lío. En dirección a Dover. Estos dos puntos pueden ser... O salió de donde de aquí. Una división de tanque está saliendo de Cherburgo para llegar hasta la batería de misiles tierra-aire que hay cerca de Brest. Salió de aquí. Y aquí tiene que haber una batería, ¿no? Like I made a mistake on them. Vale, falta uno por añadir. Ah. 
Looks like I made a mistake on the map. No. <laughs> no, nada. Hay algunos que son muy claros, otros que son súper complicados. Este, por ejemplo. Otra división de tanques partió hacia Cabre. Pero ¿desde dónde? Desde aquí. Igual que este, se han localizado dos baterías de misiles tierra aire en dirección a Dover. Vale, en dirección a Dover, ¿desde dónde? ¿Desde Plymouth? ¿Desde Calais? I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Ya, ya lo sé. Pero no sé cuáles son los errores. Vale, una edición de tanque está saliendo de Cherburgo para llegar hasta la batería de misiles tierra aire que es cerca de Brest. Así que sabemos que cerca de Brest hay una batería de misiles. Y que un tanque está cerca de Cherburgo. O sea que yo creo que este y este estarán bien. Y estos dos también están bien. Y este submarino también está bien. Sigue habiendo un submarino apostado en el Mar del Norte. Ese es el que está bien. Dos de los tres submarinos que estaban apostados en el mar Céltico partieron hacia Cherbourg. En el mar del norte hay uno, y aquí había tres en el mar Céltico, y dos partieron hacia Cherburgo. Pero uno abandonó Cherburgo, uno de los dos, para reunirse con el que estaba apostado cerca de Brest. Así que de los dos que estaban aquí, fueron hasta aquí. Dos baterías de misiles, las dos baterías que van hacia Dover es lo que me lía. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Too many units on the map. I should read the reports again. I should check the reports. I think vale. I've made mistakes on the map. Sé que son esto, pero es que las combinaciones que hay pueden ser muchísimas. I should check the reports. No lo voy a acertar en la vida. No lo voy a acertar nunca. Y la ayuda no sirve. Most of the units are found in the sea areas along the French coast and some in Belgium. Tampoco me sirve de nada. La ayuda que tiene tampoco me sirve. I 
I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. All we need to do is to place them correctly according to the information contained in the documents. Six submarines, two... Six submarines, me falta un submarino entonces. I should check the reports. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Seis submarinos. Cuatro. Oh, son demasiado. Tres, cuatro. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Vale, las ayudas no están aquí. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. I should be careful. All terrestrial units can only be on the French northwestern coast. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. I should be careful. All terrestrial units can only be on the French northwestern coast. I should check the reports. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. I should be careful. All terrestrial units can only be on the French northwestern coast. Tampoco me aclara nada. Tampoco por ir hacia atrás. Uf, qué lío. A ver. La de Bélgica está bien. ¿Qué son estas dos? Creo que este tanque tiene que estar bien también. Looks 
like I've pinned too many units on the map. I should check the reports. I think I've made mistakes on the map. Las dos baterías de misiles tierra y en dirección a Dover es lo que me lía. Dice que todas tienen que estar en Francia. Entonces voy a quitar esta de aquí. Voy a poner, por ejemplo, estas dos aquí. Vale. Luego, la división de tanques. Voy a poner aquí el tanque. más otra división de tanque saliendo de Cherburgo para llegar a Brest esta que está aquí vamos a dejar esa ahí cerca de Caen ahí ah por fin no me lo puedo creer I guess. Anna, darling, you can use my real name here, you know. Sorry, but I just can't get used to it. For me, you'll always be Ginger Junta. Charming. I'm sure I have Lenny to thank for that, hmm? You were always too soft on that little brat. Oh, give her a break. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. Only doing my duty, Dana, darling. A gallery invited me for a conference, so I jumped at the occasion to report back to our superiors. But it might be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. It's getting very hard to leave the occupied territories, even for a famous so-called pro-brown shadow artist like me. Anyway, how have you been since my last visit? I, well, with Leon being missing and probably lying dead somewhere in Baltea for the past seven years, and what happened to my parents, you know how I feel. But, but it's all beginning to feel like, like a dream, Junta. A distant dream. Especially her. And I don't want it to, you know... I don't want her, my sweet Anna, to just fade away. I... I'm sorry, Yunta, but could we please change the subject? Of course, darling. What is it? More work for you, actually. Oh? Yes. The Allies need someone for an operation with the Resistance in occupied territory, and they think it should be you. But truth be told, Dana, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? I did volunteer for field operations. They've trained me a lot for that. I know, Dana, but this operation will happen in Ostertal, right next to Vargen, actually. I see. Look, you don't need to answer me this minute. And no one would blame you if you declined the mission. We all know you don't only have happy memories of Vargen. You still have time to think it over. But before you give your final answer, they need you to identify the resistance group that will execute the operation. It's all explained here. And of course it's all top secret stuff. So you must cross-reference the documents right here in this room. You'll have to use that thing over there. But I don't know how to use it. I'm sure that's easy for you. 
You have such a clever mind, my little virtuoso. I'll see you later. <sighs> well, let's get cracking then. Vale, otro puzzle, a ver. Alto secreto. Agente Rose, necesitamos voluntarios por una operación dedicada, delicada con la resistencia en uno de los países ocupados. Un país que conoce usted bien, Ostertal. Si acepta, la dejaremos cerca de Wagen para que coordine la operación de exfiltración de un civil y lo lleve a Suiza. Para ello contará con la ayuda de las principales redes de resistencia de la región, la cual ha logrado excelentes resultados en los últimos años. Si acepta la misión como si no, necesitamos que identifique hoy esa red entre otros grupúsculos clandestinos que están activos en Ostertal. Por motivo de confidencialidad, no deberá abandonar su oficina hasta que lo haya hecho. Hemos otorgado acceso temporal al telégrafo neumático de su puesto de trabajo, una contribución al refuerzo de guerra que nos ha facilitado un ingeniero francés. Esta máquina le permitirá recuperar cualquier documento relevante que pueda necesitar. Prepara la misión y repara el autógrafo. Bueno, lo primero que hay que hacer... Vamos a ver, esto va a ser otro puzzle... Industria, bueno, aquí el tema. Asunto y país. Bueno, el país no nos lo ha dicho. Ahí está, el país es ese. puede ser inteligencia no sé The most widely used allied single-seat fighter plane. I probably owe it my life, like all of us here. Vale, esto es las órdenes que nos han dado. With no dunder, the paperwork is piling up, and problems with it. I guess winning a war takes time, and it's... Could one imagine anything as insane as the whole wide world at war? And for the second time in barely a generation. From what I can understand of that... thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right one. Compressed air. I think I need to get the mixture right, paying close attention to the rarefied air. No sé, no veo que haga nada. Can understand of that thing. Ahí. Ok, 
Estoy en la lista de redes de la resistencia. A ver, ¿cuál es la combinación correcta ahora? No, eso no es. Yo creo que el país es correcto. Resistencia, vale. Tampoco. Falta entonces la del centro. Recurso. Redes. Podría ser. Right. Let's Ahora see. sí. Identifica la red de la resistencia e Wagen. Doesn't fit in with what you just said. Can't be that underground network. No, it can't be this underground network. The information doesn't tally with what Junta said. Not this one either. No, doesn't make sense. No sé, estoy probando ahí al azar. Bueno, ese. Mira quién es el pintor. Es el novio de ella. Donde pone el pintor de las tierras altas es su novio. A coincidence. It must be a coincidence. The network leader's alias. Ah, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that. You know I don't like it. It's true though. That's exactly where you are. My pretty Edelweiss. from Baltayar. But how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to Ostertal to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, she was given extra training and was dropped near Varga in the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. We'd better get going. It looks like the storm is coming. You go first. Uh, uh, I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. Of course. Take all the time you need.
Encuentra la placa de los donantes. A ver. A dead end. I'll have to go back. Undertakers must store their tools in it. It needs a key. It doesn't look that strong, though. The Undertakers must store their tools in it. No sé de qué servirá el martillo o las herramientas. must be centuries old. The Undertakers must have forgotten it. Pues no, no lo encuentro. Este es el mismo sitio de antes. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. Creo que la salida es aquí, ¿no? Ah, se cierra el cementerio de manera automática. What the heck? What is it, Kate Walker? The gates, they just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. There always is, Kate Walker. Ya no puedo mirar el mapa. Ahora sí. El cobertizo. Pico. Ana. No, sí que puedo dejar. Yo creo que es más útil dejarlo aquí. I need directions, Oscar. I do the thinking, she does the walking. Fine by me. Vale, no sé si necesitaré ahora el cobertizo y el pico. Si están en el mapa es por algo.
Vale, aquí está el pico. Ah, puedo usar algo. Qué raro usar algo en vez de coger, por ejemplo. Ah, porque no llega. Vale, a ver qué puedo encontrar. Un palo o algo así. A dead end. I'll have to go back. A ver qué hay. ¿Qué vas? No sé a dónde va. Ah, es que está al otro lado. El que quiero inspeccionar está al otro lado. Closing time, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Sleep in a vault until morning? A veces no pasa por los sitios. Subir, inspeccionar, subir. Vale, toda esta parte ya la he mirado. Aquí donde está la salida, la... Sí, el camino cerrado. Dice que tiene que dar la vuelta. Y aquí en inspeccionar, creo que es donde está el pico. ¿O no? Sí. Vamos a subir arriba, a la parte superior de esto. Creo que esta parte no la he mirado del todo. No hay nada. Vale, lo único que me faltaría por intentar es usar a Oscar para que me traiga el pico, pero no creo, ¿no? Porque me lo puedo llevar. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. Something's missing here. La llave. 
Vale, al menos sabemos dónde está el, la llave para abrir la puerta. hacer esto yo buscando un palo o algo así pero no al final era más sencillo can you bring that pickaxe closer oscar of course kate walker Vale, ahora con el pico puedo abrir el cobertizo. Y con esto puedo abrir la puerta ya. A ver, creo que es más fácil ir por aquí. Eh, por... Estaba la entrada. A ver... Hay que dar toda la vuelta. placa de los donantes no sé dónde está a no ser a ver voy a volver otra vez al cobertizo a no ser que esté dentro se me había olvidado totalmente lo de la placa de los donantes Ya no puedo hacer nada, así que no puede estar aquí.
You seem disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Diana Rose lost her baby and became sterile disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you, doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over-optimistic. I wish I were like you, and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, uh, I guess. Um, sorry, Oscar. That didn't come out so well. Uh, are you all right, Miss Walker? Let's take the tram back to the guest house, Miss Walker. Vamos a volver. A la pensión, supongo. La placa no sé dónde está. Vale, ¿y ahora qué? ¿Ahora cómo seguimos la pista de Dana? What about that mission Dana led with Leon's resistance network? It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Actually, that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War and to move them to the Silberspiegel Refuge. Those frozen bodies near the refuge? I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... There has been no formal identification yet, Miss Walker. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies. Yes. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet, according to some witnesses, Dana survived the war and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. But if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. What happened to Leon? According to the testimonies I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission. The Foreign Office tasked Dana to lead, an avalanche apparently. I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. 
If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all, three bodies have been extracted from the ice. The one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. I see. Try to stay positive, Miss Walker. Only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over, probably tomorrow or the day after. Right. Miss Walker, we've arrived. But you're not coming, are you? Vamos a ir al refugio directamente. No da igual la tormenta. Well, Miss Walker, you might not be related to Dana, but you bloody well certainly remind me of her. I know, Oscar, I know. But I've just got to be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase? Hay una caminata bastante grande ¿eh? hasta el refugio y encima con la tormenta. It looks like it's holding up despite the storm. Inspecciona la sala común y encuentra los cadáveres congelados. I don't think it's cold enough for fuel to freeze, but maybe someone should store it inside just in case. Ah, no, va. 
bajarlo. <risa> vale, a ver si hay algo más aquí que pueda mirar. Are you sure you want to stay under the storm to see the bodies, Kate Walker? They'll still be here tomorrow, you know. Maybe, Oscar, but I can't wait. I've just got to know now. Lenny's left her lookout post. Hardly surprising with this blizzard. ¿Quién es esta persona que está ahí? Es el que vimos antes en el refugio, quizás. Ah, sin dinero no. ¿Puedo echar otra moneda? Ah, sí. No se ve nada. I'm not gonna get a decent photo in this weather. Supongo que se lo dirá con todas las fotos, ¿no? I'm not gonna get a decent photo. Estaban acampados. ¿Qué era aquí? That's where the bodies were found. I'm not going to get a decent photo in this weather. Qué raro que no se pueda hablar con esa persona. No sé quién es. Está ahí en la tormenta y no se puede hablar con él. No one here? It's not that late. I'd have thought Demoiselle Lenny would still be up. I believe that old people retire early, don't they? Photo of Leon on a ship. Must have been taken during his return from Baltayar. But I still can't figure out how he survived the winter while he was on the run over there. Lenny also had that newspaper clipping about Leon. Looks like the old girls built a veritable shrine to him. Another one of those cigars. Demoiselle Lenny had tea with someone. Maybe with that alpinist guy. Vale, hay un cigarro. Eh, tiene que ser el del detective que no lo hemos visto todavía. Demoiselle Lenny. I really ought to have a little chat with her. But before, the bodies. They are all that count right now. Look, Oscar, a distant cousin. Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? La llave, ¿no? Sí. Too small for a door. Look, Oscar, a distant vale. cousin. No es para esto. Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Me deja subir. Pero tampoco puedo hacer nada, por ejemplo, con esto. I was hoping to find Demoiselle Lenny here. A ver, 
¿Me permite bajar por las escaleras? Ah, vale. What's this? Oh, it's the frozen bodies from the Devil's Pass. The forensic team had to bring them a beer because of the blizzard. But their generator shut off. I'm concerned it could damage the bodies. Where's Demoiselle Lenny? Oh, in her room, resting. She... She collapsed right after the forensic team left for Wagen. Jeez, what happened? I'm pretty sure it has to do with the bodies. I mean, she was staring down in that direction. Ah, reconoció so, a uno de ellos. All the time, and then, when they brought them up from the Devil's Pass, it was like, like she had seen a ghost or something. It was almost as if... As if she knew the departed. What? Is someone taking care of her? Oh, yes, don't worry. She's with that hermit who brings her wood and provisions sometimes. Okay, in that case, you go back inside. I'll take care of the generator. Are you sure? Positive, just go. Go on. I need to check something in the tent anyway. Prepare the generator. Gas tank's empty. I better find some fuel so I can turn on the generator. Didn't you come across a jerry can earlier? Better go check it out. Yes. Thanks, Oscar. Vale, ¿dónde estaba? Que no sé. Sé que había combustible ahí al principio, pero no sé si había una lata de combustible. Estaba el bidón, pero ¿y la lata? Ah, sí, está la lata ahí. llave que recogí antes a ver no. tiene que ser una especie de palanca o algo así pero nothing speak to me Oscar this button must have turned on the generator Kate Walker but you still need to use the starter okay thanks Oscar Vale, ¿dónde estará eso abajo? Look, Oscar. The bodies must be over there. It's too dark, Kate Walker. We should find a way to light up the tent. Vale. Pues al menos aquí no. Por aquí no está. Si ahora me permite subir al segundo piso. O aquí ha cambiado algo, no sé. Brrr, that bloody storm. No time to explore the refuge no. again. I need to find the frozen bodies. 
they must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Ah, aquí hay algo. Otra llave. Esa será. Esta sí tiene pinta de llave, ¿no? Looks like I can change its shape. They must have carried Demoiselle Lenny to her room after she collapsed. Vale, aquí parece que nada. ¿Será esta la llave que hace falta? No sé. Vale, tengo dos llaves y no tengo ni idea de dónde las puedo usar. Look, Oscar. Ay, a distant cousin. Um, what are you talking about, Kate Walker? And why are you laughing? Vale, y aquí tampoco, ¿no? Aquí nada. No time to explore the refuge again. I need to find the frozen bodies. Cada uno tiene dos posiciones, así que tendré que encontrar la cerradura correcta. Totalmente redonda, no creo que sea ahí. Got the tank all filled. Now I just need to start the generator. Ah, espera, espera. Esto no lo había visto. Better try something else. Esto es lo que me 
hace falta. Esto sí. Oh, dry biscuits. Wonder how long I've been there. Viewers left in a hurry after they moved the bodies here. Must have been surprised by the blizzard. Forensics Institute of Vaughan. That's not Dana in this body bag. Hombre blanco, unos 50 años de edad, caballo castaño. Hay razones para creer que se trata del cuerpo de Harold Exner. De un cobatis cuyos restos también se cree que están entre los cuerpos congelados. Y va a exfiltrar a Exner durante una operación de, de la resistencia. Es probable que una avalancha arrastrara el cuerpo a mediados de la década de los 40. Leon. It's as if he died yesterday. Like in those stories where people are found perfectly preserved in ice for decades after being carried away by an avalanche. <sighs> Hard to believe he's been dead for over 60 years. That's quite amazing. And grim at the same time. Hombre blanco de unos 30 años, cabello claro. Cuerpo en excepcional estado de conservación tras haber estado atrapado en el hielo durante varias décadas. Probablemente murió en una avalancha a mediados de la década de 1940. Todo parece indicar que se trata del cuerpo del alpinista y luchador de la resistencia León Cobatis, presuntamente desaparecido durante una delicada operación de exfiltración. Se confirmará su identidad tras un análisis más detallado y una identificación visual que se llevarán a cabo pronto. Pues León muerto el, el tercer cadáver vamos a ver si es Dana o no an unidentified blonde woman in her 40s that can't be Dana pues no no es ella mujer blanca de entre 40 y 50 años de edad cabello rubio y ojos azules debido a la falta de pruebas es imposible determinar con certeza de quién se trata sin embargo dada la supuesta identidad de los otros dos cuerpos encontrados en el hielo, hay muchas razones para creer que esa persona participó en la operación de la resistencia que recibió el impacto de una avalancha a mediados de la década de 1940. Pero aquí tendremos que hacer algo más. Oscar, Dana's body is not among those found with Leon's. Oh, what a relief. Now that that's cleared up, Kate Walker, maybe we should take shelter within somewhat more solid premises. Right. We should go and check on Demoiselle Lenny in the refuge. I have a lot of new questions for her. A ver si lo deja subir ahora. Se llamaba. Individual Kate Walker. I don't think he looked threatening. Rather the opposite, Oscar. Es el mono que encontraron, el que iban buscando. Al final se quedó con 
con ellos. O bueno, o al menos se quedó... A ver, ¿cómo se llamaba? Se quedó con Leon, seguramente. No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba el bicho. No sé, no está por aquí. She's asleep. I'd better go and talk to that guy in the other room. It's locked. Sir? ¿Habrá aprendido a hablar? Are you there? What have we got here? This portrait, it looks like Leon. Oh, boy, I get much imagination, eh? Style reminds me of that other portrait of him that he described in his letter from Baltayar. The one made by the... Dana. Sabe hablar. The Gorun. Gorun, eso. Not Dana. She's old, like me. Tiene mi edad. Eh, a lo mejor está viva. I'm Kate. Kate Walker. Kate Walker. Yes. And you are... You're the one that Leon saved during the Origin Expedition a long time ago, aren't you? Yes. The Goran from Baltayar. Well, you've come a long way, Mr. Ludwig. Ludwig Hartag. Well, Mr. Ludwig, if you don't mind my asking, what happened when you and Leon returned to Ostertal to join the Resistance fighters? And how did you meet Dana? Mira quién era el de los puros. My brother. These drawings, they're moments from your life, aren't they? Hmm. That little figure there, that's you, isn't it? When you were a child in Baltayar. Yes. And the two adults there, are they your parents? Uh -huh. Looks like a river. And 
that little figure looks wounded? Is that you when you met Leon and the scientist from the Origin Expedition? Yes. That person in the middle of the others was in the other paintings. That's Leon, isn't it? Yes. Leon. That group. Is it your tribe, Mr. Ludwig? Yeah. So you all live together in a cave in Baltayar? Right. So you and your tribe took Leon in after the death of Reinhard Berger in 1937. That's how he was able to survive the winter in the mountains. Then you went with Leon when he decided to return to Wagen to join the resistance fighters? Mm -hmm. Had Dana already joined the resistance operation by that time? I mean, by the time shown in the drawing. No. Later. These combat scenes, are they of the liberation of Wagen? Before. During resistance. The blonde girl with you and Leon can't be Lenny, right? Yes. Lenny, my sister. I knew Lenny was a resistance fighter, but she never told me she fought alongside Leon, let alone you. She even went as far as saying that she never saw Leon again after 1937, when they all met at the refuge with Dana. Why would she hide something so important? Time to check on Lenny. Come, Kate Walker. The sketchbook? I think it was Leon's. Vale, tengo que ir a ver a Lenny, pero vamos a leer esto. Expediciones, nada más. Y no se puede abrir. Ah, sí, espera. Podemos verlo. Mira, eh. Ahí empezó la guerra. Registra la habitación del Gorum. Vamos a ver. Weapons. Must have been here since the war, I guess. Ha puesto su mano igual que hacía en las montañas. A symbol. Looks like a warning.
recompensa a cambio de información que conduzca a la captura vivo momento de Luke, más conocido como el asesino de las montañas. Some kind of map. Looks like the devil passed to me. Dreamer T, muy buena. Could all those marks indicate where the Goran searched for Leon's body? These must be plans for secret operations. Must have been some kind of a headquarters here. Maybe for local resistance fighters such as Leon and his group. Vale, ¿qué más tengo que mirar? Aquí esto. Detonating wire. Just like in the old movies. Cable de detonación. So much happened to the Gorun since Leon found him in Baltayar. What a life he had. But there are still so many gray areas. I need to learn more from Demoiselle Lenny now. Pues ya está. Ahora a ver a Lenny. Que está en esta. Ah, Fräulein. I knew you would be back eventually. Judging by your face, you and Ludwig already met. We have. And it raised a lot of questions about you. About what you said to me the first time we met, and about what you didn't say. Of course. You can run from your past, but never truly escape it. <laughs> But you already know that, don't you, Fräulein? Me han mentido desde el principio, pues sí. You've been lying by omission all along, Demoiselle Lenny. About Leon's death, about fighting in the resistance with him, about the go about Mr. Ludwig, and I want to know why. Because it would have only begged questions. Questions which lead to events that I've never spoken about to anyone. Not even to you, dear Ludwig. Lenny. Still, I suppose it... it doesn't matter now. Perhaps it's time I confess my crime. What are you talking about? It was the best years of my life. Joining the resistance, unlike my coward of a father, and fighting alongside Leon after he miraculously got back from Baltayar with Ludwig, it gave me purpose. 